Today I'm going to teach you how to convert an array of characters or a string into an integer in C. Um, I'm going to include the first, the two uh, libraries, standard input and output, and I'm going to include the string library. Okay. Then I'm going to define my main function. I'm going to return zero to assume my program is successful, and I'm going to define a couple of variables here: char buffer pointer plus plus arg v, and then um, let's call this you know let's call this const because it's not changing. Then let's have a um, integer number to hold the result. And we'll set this to zero, and then we're going to have a power to um, a power variable to basically hold the digits placement for every single number as we go on in the loop. And then I'm going to have const int len is going to be equal to str len buff of my buffer minus one. That's just going to basically hold the length of my uh, buffer. Okay, const int base, which is equal to 10. I'll explain what the variable is used later. We're going to have a simple printf statement. Characters to convert is, give it a simple tab space, tab space percent s, and a new line here. I'm going to pass my buffer. Then I'm going to set up a for loop for int i is equal to 0, i is less than my len. Uh, actually less than or equal to because we already did that minus one there so it won't uh, iterate over fully so that's why we do less than or equal to and then I increment i and we will number is equal to number plus well what do we want to plus it by we're obviously going to have to um, get the raw integer value and then we're going to have to somehow put it somewhere in the digit placement so let's do that. So we're going to put, we're going to access buffer, uh, one of the values in buffer, but we're going to always get the last element. So how do we do that? We just take the len and minus it by i. So len minus zero is just len, and len is the last element, last index, um, which will get you the last value. Okay. Now we want to times this. Now we no first we want to minus this, subtract from the character zero that will give us the raw integer value then we want to multiply this by power so when we plus the number that will give us the correct digit placement and obviously the digits are in increments of um, well actually they multiply by 10 so on the first digit placement the first digit placement is 1 the second is 10 the third is 100 and a thousand it's an exponential curve and so we will uh, multiply power by base. Then I'm going to show the result. So I'll say converted number is. I'm going to give it a tab space percent d new line, and I'll pass a number over here. And now we can run the program. So let's just save as. Save as. Okay, it's character. I'm fine. Now I'm going to run this program. So I'm going to say cd documents cc care to num.c. And we're just going to run this program and we'll pass in a value. Let's say, let's pass in the pi constant 131415, uh, 3.141529265. Let's say. Okay. And you see the characters to convert is. 3141596.5 and the actual number. Now this is actually a character array. This is an integer. Um, so yeah, that's how to convert characters into an integer. Thank you for watching.